What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I've been uploading quite a few videos where I've been making gold or showing you guys how I'm making gold by having all of my shitty outs across every single realm just camped at certain farms. So if you haven't checked those out you can just go back a couple of videos and I've done quite a few of them. And this is another one and the great thing about this one is that uh, you can do it, it doesn't matter if your main realm is, let's say, Silver Moon, but you have a bunch of outs on previous realms, you can still benefit from it, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Before we dive into the video, though, I do want to mention you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide, 50% off, just type in the uh, code Shadowlands into the discount field, and you find a link down below in the description. And a big, big thanks to everyone who has picked it up. It really helps me out. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So this one, it's a wad farm. So you need uh, someone that is uh, preferably uh, at like legion level, like 45 or something like that. So you can actually kill them. But the reason why it doesn't matter where your tunes are is because we're going to farm battle pets. Three different battle pets in kind of like the same area. So uh, the location is in wad, as I said, in Nagrand. And we're going to be killing these three elites right here, which are named Pug, Rock Dog, and Guck. Creative names. So they can drop these uh, these battle pets, like all of them. It doesn't even show up on this uh, this ad. There we go. Never mind, it does. So you have this one, the Warm Arcane Crystal battle pet. And then you have this one, the uh, Vibrating Arcane Crystal. And this one who drops the Glittering Arcane Crystal. So... Uh, these uh, bad boys right here, since they're battle pets, you can pretty much just right-click it, like this one, 6,000 gold for this one, 4k for this one, the market value is like 8,000 gold, but you can just click it like this, and then you can log over to your, uh, your main realm, and you can just cage it on your main realm, and then sell it on your main realm, so it doesn't matter where you have your tunes camped, so... Uh, it's going to be so typical of me when I kill these in the video and they don't drop me a single battle pet. But uh, the battle pets, according to Wowhead, they have like an 8.61% chance of dropping. So pretty much like 10% chance of uh, of getting the battle pets uh, from each of these guys. So this is also a daily thing. You can kill these guys once per tune per day. See, typical, man. Like two out of three and uh, none so far. But they're not that hard to get. Uh, well, if you have multiple tunes and you kill it multiple times a day, you're gonna get them. They're gonna have a hard time, uh, like a ho way harder time selling them than actually farming them. So at some point, I had like 15 of each. And I just stopped farming them because it's battle pets. They do sell, but they don't fly off the auction house. So it's something that's nice to have up in the auction house at any time. But you shouldn't just spend all your time trying to farm as many as possible. Uh, but yeah, I mean that was pretty much it for. Uh, for this out, where I have this out camped, so uh, similar to the other one that I did in Tanan with the toys, it's a it's a pretty good one to just have constantly camped. And that's it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.